Okay, so as we continue with the new uh, CPU coolers from Thermorite, I have got the Phantom Spirit 120 SE. It's essentially the PLS Assassin, but with no RGB. Uh, it is AM5 compatible, as well as LGA 1700 compatible. And this is a dual tower with two 120 millimeter fa uh, PWM fans. They are both four pin which I really want more brands to start using four pin. Don't use three, use four. I think people would rather control the fans than leave it at full speed every time. Now this is at 50%. Now at full percent, it's got a bit, you know, it's, it's quite loud. As you can see, that is about 50%. It is rather loud at full tilt. I will... Uh, I will let uh, let you guys hear the overall uh, noise of it. So let's just get into the benchmarks and show you what I've done. Now overall, I do my base. These are all my normal testing methods. I use Cinebench R20, R23, 3D Mark CPU test, Blender Classroom and Blender BMW. When it comes to coolers, I, I, it depends on which one. If it's got RGB and stuff like that, then I will do other testing. But this one is purely for just cpu so the idles on cinebench r20 were 30 celsius the max was 60 that was also a custom 10 minute run cinebench r23 the idles were 31 the max was a 61 again a custom 10 minute run 3d mark cpu test it was idles at 33 the max was a 53 i don't understand that it's not hitting the cpu like it used to but overall oh well blend classroom idles 30 Celsius the max with 59 that again. I've had air coolers that have gone over 60. So that's very good uh, Blender BMW idles with 30 and the max with 59 Now of course this was run at full uh, Full 1500 rpm on the fans and it does get a bit loud. I will actually show you the now I've got MSI center up now. I will go to custom run and at the moment, the fans are running at 600 RPM. Unless, of course... Right, here it is. Yeah, it's, you know... It's kind of loud. It's not the loudest ones they've done. So far, these new air coolers from Thermalrite are actually starting to become very uh, quiet, which I'm really happy to see. A lot of the air coolers I've done this year were, would have been really loud. A lot of them are, but overall, the performance is there. The PLS Assassin's still the best air cooler out of the bunch for looks and overall performance and this one is right up there of course this hasn't got rgb <laughs> but that's just me personally i actually love rgb myself but that is just me this has the performance as well as it has that love that really nice design and aesthetic look that i believe a lot of people are looking in air coolers and overall, that's it, actually, guys. That I'm not going to drag this on any longer. That is the full review of this. Of course, there are uh, other air coolers that Thermorite are bringing out. I've already requested more of them because they've got some more AIOs. They've got, actually, two more air coolers. They've just revamped, and I'm going to take a look at them. So, overall, that is it very good air cooler if i've managed to find a link for it i will leave it down below for you guys maybe you want to buy it or not because i'm assuming this is going to be a little bit cheaper than the pls assassin because it has no rgb but that's one of them things so i will see you after the new year i hope you guys have a fantastic new year and this is rich for wild tech don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and as always check out my other social media Ta-da!